Today, we all are facing the second wave of COVID, right? What is the second wave? How is it different from the first wave that we faced? The difference is that the virus has mutated, right? I think most of us already know this. What is mutation? Mutation is certain changes which occur in the virus itself in order to adapt itself to the environment that it is present in. That is, the virus is trying to live in an environment where we are trying to destroy the virus, right? That is, there is a Darwinian principle which says survival of the fittest. So every single organism, starting from the single cell organism to a large organism like the human beings, are trying to survive in an atmosphere. And the fittest always survives better. So this is what every single organism is trying to strive to. Now we are all aware of the viral mutation, right? But this viral mutation or this second wave is not something new that we are facing only in 2019 or 2020. This resistance or this mutation is being observed for at least 50 to 60 years in a strong sense. What is this resistance? What is antibiotic resistance? That is what I am going to talk about today. Om Shri Why should we know about antibiotic resistance? How is it going to help you or affect you? Today, according to the World Health Organization, at least 7 lakh people are dying every year due to drug resistance or antibiotic resistance. Why is that? Because no single medicine, no single antibiotic is able to help them come out of the infection. People are dying because of infections like how they did 100 years ago because of any infection. Antibiotics have always been a very big boon to the humankind. They have helped us treat major conditions which were completely untreatable even till the last century, right? But we have been misusing antibiotics and that has been causing multiple problems to the humankind itself. And why should we know about this? Because we have to prevent further pandemics like this from occurring. I'll tell you how. So we are all aware of uh, the courses that antibiotics are given in, right? That is if you go to a doctor, they give antibiotics for 5 days or 3 days, right? Generally or even higher or lesser depending upon the type of antibiotic. This course is given because that antibiotic takes this period of time to completely eradicate that particular bacteria from your body. That is, if, a bac if an antibiotic is given for 5 days, it means that it takes around 5 days to completely eradicate the harmful bacteria from your body. So, if a particular antibiotic is given for 5 days, but it is only taken for 3 days or 2 days. Say you have taken the antibiotic only for 3 days, your fever is gone or your condition is gone, you think that okay, it is not any more necessary and you stop the medicine. What happens? The bacteria still remains in your body. What happens to that bacteria? That bacteria slowly starts learning from the antibiotic itself. It sees how the antibiotic works on it. It sees its fellow uh, microorganisms. It sees how it is getting destroyed and these remaining bacteria starts getting resistant to that antibiotic. For example, say an uh, antibiotic is affecting the cell wall of the bacteria. Now what happens? This uh, bacteria tries to build a cell wall which is resistant, which is so hard that it is not being affected by the antibiotic itself. So this makes the bacteria resistant to the antibiotic. That is, this bacteria is no longer affected by the antibiotic. This is how antibiotic resistance occurs. There are multiple other ways that antibiotic resistance can occur. I'll tell you that too now. Say we are having running nose or say a person is suffering from a viral fever. So we all know a viral fever is caused by a virus. Running nose is caused by a virus called as rhinovirus. So these are all viral conditions, right? So how do these viral conditions Generally, how are these treated? By giving antivirals or just leaving it as it is, which gets treated by the body itself. But then, if you start taking antibiotics, which are antibacterial, for these viral conditions, 
what happens our body starts becoming resistant to this antibiotic that is the bacteria which is already present in our body which might be helpful or mildly harmful which is present in smaller numbers starts becoming resistant to this antibiotic so stop administering yourself with antibiotics or antibacterials for every single conditions without investigating if that antibacterial will antibiotic or antibacterial will help you in any way this is one another way in which antibacterial resistance can occur the third thing which is most important is that by eating poultry or eating meat or eating broiler chicken how does this cause antibacterial resistance interesting right most of the non vegetarian food that we eat today is either broiler chicken or poultry which is concealed in closed spaces that is if you have seen how these uh, broiler chicken are grown you might have seen that they have been stored in small cages right so when when any animal or when any farm animal is kept in such concealed spaces there are chances that these animals can get infected by various infections especially bacterial infections in order to prevent these bacterial infections from occurring rather than keeping them in large spaces and providing a hygienic atmosphere the easiest solution which is adapted by most of the sellers today is that they add lot of antibiotics to it when they add lot of antibiotics to the food that these uh, poultry animals are being fed to there is less chances for the animals to get infections but when we have these uh, non vegetarian food since they are ridden with lot of antibiotics even though you don't eat antibiotics externally you start eating these meat which already contain antibiotics in them so because of this without your knowledge you are eating so much of antibiotics which is causing extreme antibiotic antibiotic resistance in your body this antibiotic resistance is causing havoc in the society right now so how does ayurveda come into picture here when ayurvedic medicines are administered ayurvedic medicines improve the innate immunity in the body because of which our body naturally attacks the bacteria or the virus and because of that the infection comes down there is no drug resistance which is occurring in Ayur ayurvedic medicines because there is no drug which is directly acting on the bacteria or the virus do you subscribe to our channel to be updated with our latest videos if you like this video please share it with your friends and if you have any opinions or questions do write them in the comment section below